everybody welcome to the impressive channel I wanted to talk about the new Miss USA winner named Kara McCullough now Kara McCullough made some pretty interesting remarks that sparked a lot of debate she said that health care is a privilege not a right and she also wanted to do away with the word feminism and replace it with equalism do you think affordable health care for all US citizens is a right or a privilege and why I'm definitely going to say it's a privilege. As a government employee, I am granted um, health care. And I see firsthand that for one, to have health care, you need to have jobs. What do you consider feminism to be? And do you consider yourself a feminist? As a woman scientist in the government, I've liked to l lately transpose the word feminism to equalism. We are just as equal as men when it comes to opportunity in the workplace. I don't really want to consider myself I try not to consider myself like this, like, die hard, you know, like, oh, I don't really care about men. Now, Kara's statements did raise a lot of controversy, especially in the political climate that we are in now. A lot of people weren't feeling her statements at all. However, a lot of Americans did support her views. And we have to understand we're living in Trump's America. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of people that support her views. And on the flip side, there's going to be a lot of people who disapprove of her views. Now, since Kara made those comments, she has been on a press run trying to backpedal on some of her statements. But I do believe affordable health care should be a right to all. And, you know, as Miss USA, you have to promote this healthy lifestyle. So, yes, health care should be a right to all. When it comes to the word feminism, of course, like, I'm all about women's rights. And if you want to challenge me on that, come talk to me. My mother was a chief petty officer in the Navy. She spent 23 years in the Navy. And now she's also a security advisor for the Marines. So Kara definitely had to expound on what she said after facing all the backlash. And I don't necessarily believe that she was fully prepared to answer some of the questions because they only give the contestants like 30 seconds to answer a question. So she went on GMA, Good Morning America, and she clarified some of her statements. I am privileged to have health care, and I do believe that it should be a right. And I hope and pray moving forward that health care is a right for all worldwide. And I just want people to see where I was coming from. Having a job, I have to look at health care like it is a privilege. I don't want anyone to look at it as if I'm not all about women's rights, because I am. We deserve a lot when it comes to opportunity in the workplace, as well as just like leadership positions. Okay, so those were Kara's statements, and I do see where she's coming from. And I know that she was misunderstood. Now, the reason why her comments were a little bit problematic is because she said in so little words that if you don't work, you don't deserve health care. And sadly, a lot of people believe this. Even our current president tried to extract the health care law that was previously implemented by President Obama. President Obama wanted all people to receive health care coverage, but a lot of people think that health care is a luxury and they believe that it should only be secured by people who actually work and make a certain income, you see? Never mind the working class people who don't make enough to fully pay their health care bill. Never mind the children in America who need health care the most. Never mind the poor and homeless people who need it as well. I guess they're all lazy and undeserving, right? <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I'm definitely aware of the people that take advantage of the healthcare system and its benefits, and I also feel that is wrong, but at the same time, I'm not going to gripe and complain about paying extra to cover a poor sick person, especially when I'm healthy. But anyway, as far as Karen's comments on feminism, I really didn't see anything wrong with it. But I do understand that feminism is a coined term to relate to the advancement of women in a gender discriminating society. So I understand the use of the word feminism. And I think there are many groups in America that experience different types of inequality. So those groups do need to be specified. So I think using the term equalism to transpose the words feminism, racism, ageism, and so on and so forth, I think it's a tad bit dismissive of those particular problems. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that. And I have nothing against Kara's comments. She was being true to herself and, you know, people are going to agree and disagree, but whatever. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.